When it comes to mid-price range e-bikes these days, there are many different names to choose from and they all portray similar features, equipment, and technology that make these bikes popular amongst many different groups other than just savage cyclists. Today we're reviewing the NCM Moscow Series mountain bike from the now US-based Leon Cycles. I ordered the NCM Moscow mountain bike from Amazon and surprisingly received it in less than a week. The once Europe-based Leon Cycles opened a U.S. headquarters in Seattle in order to expedite U.S. deliveries in a matter of days. While unpacking the box, you'll notice that it comes mostly assembled with all the mechanics already hooked up. I'd have to say the hardest part was probably getting everything out of the box and unpacked. They basically leave you the seat and post, pedals, handlebars, and front tire to attach to the frame. The rear wheel with the motor and derailleur came all assembled with the chain also in place. The battery housing was already connected to the motor and LED control panel, so all you really need to do is attach the battery and it's ready to go. Unless you're experienced working on bikes with derailleurs, gears, and mechanical disc brakes, it's probably a good idea to make a small investment and let your local bike shop look it over and make sure everything is tightened and dialed in before you get it out on the trails. When unpacking the NCM Moscow, the first thing you'll notice is the massive heavy-duty frame. It's constructed of aircraft grade aluminum, large tubes, and clean welds with a unique design. This thing probably makes up about 80% of the bike's weight, but it still looks stylish with the custom matte black and blue or white paint job that it comes with. All the accessories on the NCM Moscow are pretty standard for a rugged off-road mountain bike, but still deserve to be mentioned. A Suntour XCT coil fork with preloaded suspension that's fine for the trails, but you may want to upgrade your forks if you plan on riding on a rougher terrain. We have a set of Tektro mechanical disc brakes on the front and back, a pair of Schwalbe Smart Sam tires on a 27.5 inch rim for this bike we're featuring, a Shimano Altus 7 speed derailleur in the back, a Shimano Altus triple crank set. The brains of this unit, a DOS kit L7 LCD display unit. The power source in the back motor hub is a DOS kit brushless rear drive 500 watt motor. A Velo saddle designed especially for the MCM mountain bike series. And finally, a DHawk 48 volt battery with a USB port to charge any of your devices while you're out on the trails. While testing the MCM Moscow, I didn't push it too hard, but I did put it through a good mix of terrains. I tested out the power assist modes going up the hills and the throttle on the smooth surfaces. It's amazing how much help it is just using the first two of six different power assist levels. Using the throttle on the smooth trails, it quickly picked up and maxed out at about 21 miles per hour. While using the power assist only when I needed it, the battery was still pretty much full after a whole day of riding. Everything worked good while I was out on the trails. The tires handled great going through the rocky terrain and the brakes stopped on a dime. All in all, it was a comfortable and fun experience to say the least. For my personal opinion of the Moscow NCM e-bike, I'd have to say it's perfect for what I'm using it for. Something that won't have a problem on the semi-rough trails, the battery lasts a long time, the pedal assist helps you get up steep inclines, and the throttle is there to take over when you need to take a break from pedaling on the long rides. As I mentioned before, there's many other e-bikes out on the market that might be right for you. I'd suggest doing some research before making a decision and investing your money. 
I went with the NCM because they offered a slightly larger 27 and a half inch model and I always felt like the frames on the 26 inch bikes were a little too small. If you do decide on the NCM Moscow e-bike, feel free to ask me any questions or let us know your opinion of the bike if you've already purchased it. Until then, good luck with your decision and we'll see you again in the great digital outdoors.